I don't know why I, 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 I didn't. <clears throat> We're here. Paperwork? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Michelle. Mm hmm. Day oneers. Welcome to hell. seem like good people to me. Clay, if you don't knock it off with that laughing, that phone is gonna go so far up you that even the coroner's not gonna be able to find it. Hey, the last month's been really hard on me too, you know. We're here now, so may as well make the most of it, right? Look, I brought some snacks from home. <laughs> so they won't be all bad, right? <laughs> And, hey, I even remembered. Sunscreen. <sighs> I know it's not much, Mickey, but I'm trying. You can't fault me for try. Oh, shoot. This is sour cream. Got it on my shirt. <laughs> Okay, we all know the drill, kids. We have 10 miles to clear today, and your time starts now. Ciao. Excuse me. Uh, we're new here, so we actually don't know the drill. <laughs> ah, well, I gave the drill to everybody this morning at the Good Works Community Center. I tried. Uh, okay, excuse me. <laughs> You're not going anywhere, buddy. Oh. Hello. Okay, you do not get to wake me up at the buck crack of dawn, drag me out to the middle of nowhere, and expect to just walk away from me. <laughs> I get it. Your fans. <laughs> no. I just want to know what I'm supposed to do today. Oh, come on. Are you saying that you have never heard of the daytime Emmy award-winning masterpiece, <laughs> The Bridge Across Tomorrow? Really, you're very sweet. <laughs> but I am working right now, so uh, no autographs. Oh. Okay. Yep, okay. No, no thank you. No thank you. Okay. So, you pick up the trash with these. You put the trash in these. And you wear these. And make sure you get yourselves a buddy, because if I see you by yourselves, I'm gonna write you up. Good luck. Touch me again, Howard. At least you're talking to me. Hey, wait, 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 where are you going? Buddy system. Hey. You got a buddy? No. Well, I guess it's you and me, huh? Um, <laughs> uh, I'm flattered, but you're not my type. <laughs> what? Tall, dark, and handsome isn't your type? <laughs> That actually is my type. Okay. Well, you know, my wife thinks I'm pretty okay. Uh, she did anyway, before I went and screwed everything sister, up. Sister, I, I don't want to hear a sob story, okay? We all got sob stories. I mean, it's community service, right? So just go complain to your buddy, okay? I thought we were buddies. I am a team leader, which means that I am above having a buddy. Now, go find yourself somebody before I have to write you up.
Well, no, everybody else is already taken. Jeez, just go find yourself a buddy, or I will write you up, and I swear next time I'm gonna make sure you do your community service at Maple Grove, and I swear you do not want that, okay? Ciao. Mm. There's the passion rip. Gorgeous loose cannon, you. That is a crop topper, no cap. All right, what's your name? Clay, ma'am. Great, Clay, hmm. We're gonna set a baseline understanding right now, all right? Mm -hmm. First of all, don't ever, ever call me ma'am ever again, or any other woman for that matter. Number two, I am not here to make friends. Got it? Bet. Why are you here then? <sighs> Cause my husband's an idiot. You don't have a buddy. <laughs> Excuse me? I just don't want to get written up, so. <laughs> Are you suggesting I don't have any friends? No, what? No, what? No. You look like a guy that's got a lot of friends. I wasn't trying to. <sighs> Let's start over, huh? I'm Howard. And you are. Sitting. A man of few words. I like that. Remind me of myself. You know. Back when I was the residential life director at the college. Ugh. Back before I wound up here. Students would always come to my office, you know, just to hang. Because they felt so comfortable with me. Oh. Watcher. So rad, dude. Me too. No. My husband packed a bunch of snacks and then kept them all to himself. Typical. Don't worry. Uh, my mom's neighbor can bring us food if you want. What? Wh why? Because you sound hangry. No. Why would your mom's neighbor bring us food? Because older women did me. Kind of like how you randomly chose me to be your buddy today. Ooh, fat Sammy's. That's a vibe. Fancy you need a hand down there. Um, no thank you, sister. I'm okay. Oh, I insist. Okay. Oh. Very strong. It's got strength. It's all right. It's all right. Ah, now that that nastiness is taken care of. Seems I've misplaced my buddy. Walk with me. Look at all this beautiful green. We really are making a difference out here, aren't we? Clay, my friend, you keep up this gentlemanly behavior, you're gonna make some broad real happy one day. Nah, not really the settling down type. Not gonna stay in one place. What got you here? Loitering. <laughs> How long have you two been hitched? Nine years. Whoa. Oh, dude, I was in middle school and you were like... Well, I'm gonna just... I'm gonna stop you right there. You two must really like each other. I mean, it's not all bad. He just has this habit of always getting himself into trouble and then I'm left to clean up all the messes. I just... I... Maybe wish he saw that sometimes. What's the matter then? Cat run away with her tongue. I'm Sister Caridwin, for starters. Carry to me, buddies. J. Howard Murphy. It's nice to meet you, Carrie. Tog a buggy, J. Howard Murphy. That's very pretty. 
Just something me ma used to say when things got hard. Which in my home was every blessed day. Where was home? Can't you tell from me accent? I'm from Chicago, of course. Ireland. Canarva, to be precise. What brought you all the way out to Mapledale? Oh, that's a story for another episode. Another what? But you... You've gone and hurt someone special now, haven't you? Is it that obvious? Giving you me best material and you barely cracked a smile? I was trying to help. I really thought that I was helping and then it all just went so bad so fast. You're not the first. Have you talked about confession? Oh, my lawyer is very strict about what I'm allowed to say. Confession is God's way of taking a burden off of your shoulders. You confess your sins and receive penance. Admit that you're sorry and receive absolution. Wait, hold on. So all I have to do is say that I'm sorry and it all just goes away? Sort of. It's more about understanding your wrongs and it's... J. Howard Murphy, how can you hear what I'm saying when you're walking up? Yes, we can walk and talk. Great work, gang. Or should I say, good works, gang. <laughs> okay, let's uh, get everybody into the van. Can I say something first? My name is J. Howard Murphy, and I have sinned. I guess you don't get to a place like this without making a few mistakes, though, huh? <laughs> and I have made more than a few. But I'm ready to acknowledge those mistakes and say, without question, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to all of you. I'm sorry for being late. I'm sorry for breaking the rules, taking too much of your time, not laughing at your jokes. But most of all, I am sorry to you, Michelle. I'm sorry that my bad choices got you into this mess. Now, I know that you need time to heal, and I realize that I have to give you the time and space to do that, so take it. That's me. <laughs> As for the rest of you, I don't really know you all that well, but I I think we're probably going to be spending a lot of time together, so I'm willing to do the good work to get to know you. Maybe if I can, help you along your journey. It's called community service, after all. There must be something to that. <laughs> Thank you, Howard. Best, fresh, everything goes in the van. Let's go. Hey. Gerald. That was a nice speech. Strange. Kind of unnecessary, but, you know, nice. Thanks. <laughs> it's all good, Clay. Let it rip! <laughs> 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 You've all been clocked out. Thank you for your service. See you next time. Why does my van smell like stale sour cream? Who's been eating in here? <laughs>